Hello, welcome to this tutorial on one-step equations, the most basic of uh, equations that we can see. Um, we need a little bit of language and a little bit of uh, um, backup for this. So what we're going to use to solve these equations is something called inverse operations. Well, inverse operations is like the opposite. And operations in maths is multiplication, division, uh, addition, and subtraction. So, what is the opposite of multiply? The opposite of multiply is to divide. The opposite of divide is to multiply. The opposite of add is to subtract. The opposite of subtract is to add. Hopefully that stuff is basic stuff for uh, everybody. But we need to use those inverse operations to kind of find the solution to equations. So let's have a look at an example. Here we have uh, an unknown. So n is a number we do not know yet. It's just a number we don't know yet. We want to find out what it is. So we're saying something add 24 is 33. Something add 24 is 33. Well, the way that the best way to do this, uh, and it's a good foundation for when we get into really tricky uh, equations, is to use those inverse operations. So here, the operation is add 24. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract. I'm going to take away the inverse. So the opposite of add 24 is to take away 24. And I'm going to keep these in a bubble to the side. Now, the reason I've written it like that is because an equation is a balanced puzzle. It's, it's got values on both sides that are equal. This is equal to this. We have the equal sign in the middle, and then we have two balanced sides. So to keep it balanced so that it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't become false, we need to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. If I take away 24 on this side, I must take away 24 on this side. I've always got to do the same thing to both sides. That's a really important concept for solving equations. So when I take away 24 from both sides, well, on this side, I've got n plus 24. I take away the 24, and I'm left with just n, because I took away the 24. On the other side, 33 minus 24 is 9. And there we go, n equals 9. And always with equations, you can tell if you've got them right, because you can check. So if we're saying that n is 9, let's put it back in here. What is 9 plus 24? Does it equal 33? Yes, it does. Happy days. We got it right. Okay? So these concepts of balancing, doing the same to both sides, really important. Okay, let's have a look at a variety of different examples. Here we've got a number, x this time, multiplied by 6 equals 42. Let's use those inverse operations again. Opposite of times by 6 is going to be divide by 6. Divide by 6. Now, if I take a number, times it by 6, then divide by 6, it comes back to where it began. Let's think of an example. If I have 5 times by 6, I get 30. 30 divided by 6, well, that's back to 5. So this cancels this out. So over here, we'll just have x, because x times 6 divided by 6 is just x. We get back to where we began. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Okay? And let's check if that worked. So let's just check. We'll substitute x equals 7 back in here. And we'll say, does 7 times 6 equal 42? Yes, it does. We are correct. x equals 7. Okay? So this inverse operations thing, this gets us to just x on one side of the equation. And that's another important concept. Solving equations, it's all about getting letters on their own, on one side. Another example. Okay, here we have z minus 9 equals 12. You might want to pause and have a go at this yourself. 
but I'll just rattle on. Here we go. Z, another number, we're calling it Z. Take away 9 equals 12. Opposite of take away 9 is add 9. So to both sides, I add 9. Z minus 9, add 9, is just Z. I'm going to write it like that. And 12, add 9, is 21. Let's check our answer. And let's go 21. We're just substituting the value in here. 21 minus 9, does it equal 12? Yes, it does. We're happy. We're correct. Another little example. Uh, 9p. Okay, here we need to make sure we understand the expression 9p. 9p means 9 multiplied by p. But we just write it in that shorthand there. So it means 9 lots of p. P plus 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 P. It's 9P. So if this is the same as times by 9, our inverse here is still going to be divide by 9. Divide by 9. And so when we divide this by 9, times 9 divided by 9 is nothing. Or is like is like doing nothing. Uh, and so P equals 81 divided by 9 is 9. Let's check it works, and let's go for 9 multiplied by 9. Does it equal 81? Yes, it does. We're correct. One last example. Let's have a look at a division 1. A divided by 7. Now, you might actually see this written as A with a line over 7 as a fraction. Same thing. A divided by 7 or A over 7. Doesn't matter. Um, and in this case, the opposite of divide by 7 is to multiply by 7. What I do to that side, I do the same to this side. And so I get just a on this side, because I've divided by 7 times 7. And then 7 times 7 is 49. Check our working. And we go substitute this in. Is 49 divided by 7 equal to 7? Yes, it is. Right, there's a few examples for you. That is one-step equations. So go and practice some of that, and uh, good luck.